Hey, in today's video, we are going to learn how we can set up our site for JSS into connected mode. In our previous video, we have seen how to set up our site for JSS in disconnected mode. Now, if you want to share your contents uh, with the site for instance, uh, then you need to connect it into a site uh, site for into or uh, connected mode. So let's see how easy or difficult it is to set up a site for JSS into a connected mode so let's start so this is my site core instance and we do have a home here okay we also have set up site core JSS in disconnected mode so let's run that with JSS start command in the meanwhile while it's running uh, we need to uh, go to the uh, site code dev portal and need to download site core handlers uh, rendering so i'm downloading site core rendering 20.2 20.0 and uh, site core headless servers for site core xp so this file i have already downloaded here, here. right our site is uh, disk uh, our site is uh, getting loaded on localhost 3000 so this uh, we are running in disconnected mode the screen which we are going to see right now okay so here it is in disconnected mode now we need to connect it into our connected so let's first open our site for instance okay and then uh, we need to install the package that we have downloaded for site core headless rendering from our site code dev portal so i'm going to install this so upload package So the package will take some few seconds to get installed okay so the package has been installed now we need to go to the content editor and we need to go into the system node We'll go into settings services and api key here we need to provide an api key i will explain the reason why we, uh, it is needed so this is a very unique key so first we have to define uh, our api key so i will name it as uh, react demo react demo okay uh, then we will get this option course origin uh, we will mark it here as a star this will allow all the course origin to interact and i am also allowing all the controllers to assess that so i am saving this one and i will also publish this as well Now we need to go into init manager and this is our website so we will create a new binding here for our connected mode so i will name this as a react JSS demo dev local okay. yes ssl certificate i have not selected but for the time being uh, we don't have a new uh, ssl certificate for the time being we will select this okay and um, okay before that let's create a certificate itself so we need to run this 
command to create a certificate for us. Okay, it's working or not? Let's see if it's working or not. Okay, so this has been created. Let me go to certificates and see. So certificate might have been created. Let's go and try to add our branding again. So select a CTPS and in SSL we can see real JS demo. This is the certificate that we have just created here. Alright. See real JS demo. This is a friendly name. I will select OK and close. Now let's run this setup. So um, now here I will run JSS setup. So it's asking me whether it's on this machine or not. Yes, path to the side core folder. So I have to provide uh, this path. Because here, this is my root folder of file where site for vanilla installation has been installed. Uh, site for host name. So, we'll provide our newly created host name. So, our newly created host name. So it's asking our host file name so before this we need to add our binding name in our host file so let's go and add it here windows system 32 Drivers. So it open Notepad in admin mode. All right, so we'll add it here. this one okay so this is our our new host so let's see we'll try to browse this one okay we are getting certificate error no problem so okay so this is our binding path all right for import service url so it's just add site core api JSS import to our existing binding so if you want to give this one you simply need to enter or if you want to edit this you can add it i'm clicking enter so this will be taken as default one it's asking for site core api key now so where i can get the key so this is the key and the item id uid is our api key Okay, so I will here. Yeah. Then it's asking me a deployment secret key. I don't have one right now. So if I click enter, I will get a default one I created from the setup itself. Okay, so it's saying deployment a uh, secret key has been generated. This is connection string saved to config.js. 
so here it's stating us that the changes are there in the config file so what we will do we will try to open uh, our project code into visual studio so let's try doing that let's open visual studio first okay then we will load our project right so here if you go and see there are changes in the config file so let's see what are the changes so here we can see the layout service configuration the site core path home path uh, like in the content node we will have a new node within the content node then language preferences graphql endpoint all these settings are there also we do have a deployment secret key here defined now if we go uh, and check uh, the environment uh, i mean uh, this configuration file so here we do have instance path api key our deploy secret deploy url and layout service host that we have just created um, in the host file and also in the inet manager so if you go and check the env file there are few settings which are open which needs to be adjusted so uh, there are two changes that we are going to do one is we are going to put the site core api key here in the first option we will paste it from our guid that has been created within site core and the react app site core api host this is the path that uh, we have created just in the our host file binding so we will copy that and we'll paste it here so layout service host this is the value so we'll go to env file and uh, paste it up here right uh, let's put a space up here okay now let's go and save it okay now we need to deploy this config file in into our site core vanilla installation i mean the www root folder so you will see uh, the configuration file has been created under the zzz folder so let's go to the uh, api config here you will see within include zzz this has been created recently right now okay and the second thing that we are going to do is we are going to export uh, the template components or the content that we have created as a part of jss setup to our uh, site core instance for that uh, we will write a specific command uh, which we can use from the document that has been provided by site core so if you are if you are not using a self signed certificate you can directly use the web command but if you are using a self signed certificate you can copy this command and at the last we will see there is a test um, command that has been written so you need to specifically provide test here so if you will provide test there will be an error and an error will contain some dot 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 um, um, dot 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 uh, uh, error line so we need thumbprint kind of so we need to copy that and we need to replace test with the current uh, uh, current uh, current uh, signature that we have copied or thumbprint that we have copied so um, i am using the self signed certificate let's remove test here and paste the uh, this current thumbprint so now what is happening now the um, file which is in our local instance this is getting connected i mean exported to the site core vanilla installation so this will take some time maybe around 2 3 4 minutes and eventually you will see all your templates contents components in your site core if everything goes fine so let's wait for it and let's see how much time it takes and eventually then we will see our site core instance and how the page gets loaded so here you can see everything is getting exported as said previously this will take around uh, three to four minutes of time and we need to wait uh, for it patiently so we will see once this gets exported completely we will see uh, uh export uh, conf confirmation yes
is there again there are some steps that will get built okay so all these are happening right now perfect so build happened deployment has happened right yes this is what we were looking for okay yeah. so now if we go and check in content editor there we will see a node within the content yes no so this contains you know all the jss related infrastructure that we need okay now let's browse okay so this is our local site yes this was created using jss okay perfect we will we will also try to run using jss start command so here is a content block if we make a change here uh, this the change will also get reflected at the browser side the only condition is that this has to be run into a connected mode so now we will run it into a connected mode and we'll see whether our changes are working perfectly fine or not so this is how we um, okay so would you like to run okay there is already 3000 port running uh, it's asking me that i want to run in a second port yes so probably this will go into 3001 port all right so 3001 port is running now you will see when i make a change in sitecore content editor and refresh my browser you will see the changes is getting reflected directly over the browser the reason being is that now it's in JSS connected mode. So, uh, okay, what I'm trying to, all right. So this is some authorization uh, which I am trying to put up here. Okay. Now if yes, see. So let's make a change there in the site for content editor. We'll see whether that gets reflected here or not. So I'm making a change here. Let's mark it as connected. We'll save it. And to make sure that this has been uh, published properly, you can actually see the workflow state from here. And you can write here publish. And then you can also publish the content after saving it. So once you do that, then other changes will get reflected at the uh, browser side. So let's publish this one. And if we refresh here, you see it's connected. So our system is in connected mode. So this is how it's easy to connect site code JSS in connected mode. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you are liking the session.